Medusa shared some stuff that he said that got, you know, him in hot water. I mean, unbelievable. But uh, let's let's continue on because he then also inserts himself as an authority figure on television. And uh, there had always been that board of directors or booking committee that seemed to govern WCW. But Watts presented himself as the man in charge of the WCW Championship Committee and ultimately found ways to put himself on TV regularly as well as the pay-per-views. And he took this a step further on when he inserted Eric Watts into a role he wasn't ready for. And you know firsthand about that better than most, Arn. This is a subject we're going to talk about down the line, but it seems that Watts aimed to make himself as much a part of the story as the current talent. Is that how you saw it, or do you have a different point of view on that matter? Well, I felt bad for Eric because he was being thrust, you know, into working with guys like Rick Rude that he was not ready to be working with, you know, and he was wanting to put, you know, getting your son a job if he aspires to be a professional wrestler, I have no problem with, obviously. You know, but you talk about nepotism to push him working with all the top heels way, way, way before he was ready. That just hurt Eric because oh, the, yeah. fan, the fans saw it and they smelled it and they went. I remember at the time, you know, and it's, and it's not fair to him. And, and Bill has himself all over TV, so it's just not his influence. But now he's on TV. His son's on TV. It's about it's the Bill Watch show. Well, yeah, and I'm sure you don't think that opened up some more stuff back in Oklahoma where he lived. You know, him suddenly being back on TV and on the Superstation and mm, and all point. that as far as what he might get for himself personally. Other opportunities.